Soon we will begin the season of Lent, those 40 days before Easter, those 40 days in which we focus upon our own inner being and how it is that we grow our relationship with our God to prepare for the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus the Christ. As we do that, frequently there are ways in which we engage missionally as well. And so the North Texas Conference wants to invite each of our churches to engage with us about a particular mission that is unique to our annual conference. And that is with the churches in the United Methodist Mission in the country of Honduras. I want to tell you that over the last two years, not only have those clergy and other people in Honduras been dealing with the pandemic, but they had two hurricanes in the year 2020 that drastically affected their country. But one of the things of which I'm very proud is, is they have not only hung in there, but they've continued to be the pastor, the prophet, the teacher, and simply the person who's present on behalf of the church to people in these communities in Honduras. So you will be provided with videos, videos, testimonies, not only from laity, but also clergy in Honduras who are doing good and faithful work on behalf of the United Methodist Church in a very difficult time. But we'd like to ask you and invite you to consider doing something else missionally. And that is to be very generous in terms of the Honduran mission. So our pastors make about $4,400 a year. They're bivocational and they serve in very challenging and difficult circumstances, but they do it with great joy. And so I would hope that each one of our congregations would be generous in terms of helping provide close to $85,000 to pay all of the salaries for one year for the clergy in Honduras. And you can simply do that very easily. Soon you'll be getting the materials, and that is the videos that uh, you can use in worship or even your social media accounts about what is actually happening in the mission in Honduras. I'm very proud of these persons, men and women, who are being very faithful and the way in which they care for each other and care for those in their congregation and even people they don't know. So hope that you'll be generous in terms of giving them some time to hear their stories, but also think about how is it that we can be helpful to these faithful servants of God. I want to say thank you, God bless you, and again, I appreciate you so very much and the kind of witness that you have in your own community. Let us get ready for Lent.